member of this great organization known as the International Ministers' Wives and Widows Auxiliary, Great Oaks from Little Acorns Grove. On behalf of the illustrious president, Dr. Ruth Ann Tyson, the IMWMWA executive team, our former past president, Dr. Ada Parker, and our auxiliary director, Bishop Sherman Merritt. We take this great opportunity while hosting this convention in the beautiful and historical city of Atlanta in Georgia to honor and celebrate Dr. Willa Moore, a phenomenal apostolic diamond. Yeah. 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 of Lady Moore at that time, that she was the only woman at that time who had the unique distinction of being a daughter of one of the PAW bishops um, and the wife of one of the PAW bishops, all at the same time. Moore is the daughter of the late Bishop C. R. Lee, the occupant of the 3rd Episcopal District, Ohio, and the late Mary Elise Garrett Lee. She is the wife of the late Bishop Benjamin T. Moore from 1951 to 1988, and worked in ministry as a pastor's wife from 1954 to 1988. Her ministry as a pastor's wife, a wife, a mother, and a mentor to hundreds of ministers, wives, and widows over the years consumed her focus and passion. In October, Dr. Moore will be 93 years old. And she's still in the trenches, making an impact wherever the opportunity prevails. She blogs on Facebook <laughs> and has an extensive, extensive followership. Yes! <laughs> Any of her Facebook yeah, partners? Yeah, yeah. If you are not her Facebook partner, <laughs> ask to be her friend. <laughs> and you'll keep up with what's going on today. Because we all benefit from her wisdom Amen. as she shares her politics, yes. church etiquette, and protocol for living in the last days. Yes. Yeah. Dr. Moore is often reminded of the statement spoken by her late husband, the Honorable Bishop Benjamin T. Moore, who referenced her as a wife of noble character, yes. worth far more than ruby. Yes. The heart of her husband safely trusted in her, for she is the epitome of the virtuous woman in Proverbs 31. Amen. Yeah. 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 The PHW Board of Bishops, under the leadership of Bishop Samuel Grimes, unanimously agreed to suspend the rules for the very first time to make her husband, the late Honorable Bishop B.T. Moore, the youngest man ever to be elevated to the office of bishop. <coughs> I believe he was under 35. Oh, we don't wow. see that today. She has experienced the role of a minister's wife, a traveling evangelist yes, wife, yes. a district elder's wife, yes. and a bishop's wife during the very early years of their ministry. 
While attending an ABSA district council, she was invited to engage in a discussion among distinguished senior pastor's wives about the need to form a PAW pastor's wives auxiliary. Several districts across the country were already operating successfully as pastor's wives organizations. It was the inclusive spirit of this wise group of seasoned senior pastor's wives who recognized the important contributions Lady Moore at that time, who was a minister's wife, could bring to this newly forming group. Lady Moore, being the youngest in the group, was asked to write the letter of appeal to the Board of Bishops to form a national pastor's wife's auxiliary. However, the letter of appeal was adjusted to include ministers' wives, thus the name National Ministers' Wives Auxiliary of the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World became the official title of this organization. Permission was granted, and in August of 1953, at the PAW Convention in Baltimore, Maryland, the first Ministers' Wives uh, meeting was held and they were known as the steering committee because they were those who had appealed to the Board of Bishops. Dr. Moore was appointed the first general secretary and served faithfully until the demands in other areas of ministry prompted her to relinquish this office. In 1976, under the presidency of Dr. Cora Parche. This organization selected the book she authored, This Is Your Life, as the official training manual for the IMWMWA. She was awarded an honorary doctorate of humane letters by Enon Bible College. And time will not permit me to highlight all of her accomplishments which, by the way, are highlighted in our IMWMWA 65th Book of Celebration. So in that book, you can catalog all of the multiple things that this great woman of Zion has provided us through her service. I can truly say that she has journeyed a pathway of courage, strength, and endurance. And because of her faith in God and the love that she has for her husband, her children, and the people of God, she has become the IMWMWA Apostolic Diamond to this great organization.
to do something special for her. Dr. Moore, first this is another hanky. <laughs> And so, instead of going out tanning, like my husband did, <laughs> I crocheted this for her. Oh, beautiful. 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 You know, certain things in the church that are sacred, they're usually black. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask my husband to bless Dr. Moore Thank and the Lord. shawl that she wears. Thank you, Lord. So when she wears it, she'll feel the love that was in every mm -hmm. stitch. I prayed over wow. them while I was making this toy. You know, she, she's a woman who has uh, plaques down through the years and you know, when you get 93 years old, the plaques don't mean that much. But I thought, instead of getting her a plaque, let's get something that I know she can wear. And so this is your plaque, something that you can wear. And I'm asking my husband to bless you and to bless the shawl. Man, man. I'm not going to be long, but you can sit down. <laughs> let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this tremendous opportunity we have to bless this tremendous woman of God that we've known down through the years. Mm -hmm. My mother is a God. Yeah. We thank you, God, and we honor her husband. My father is a God. Yeah. In Jesus' name, and by the time of the Holy Spirit, we come to you now on behalf of her and the honor of the tremendous legacy and the award, Lord, that has been given her, the tremendous fall that has been prepared by my wife with her own hands. We want to ask God your highest and best blessing upon her. More importantly, upon her. Amen. 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 Gifts and talents, Lord, and her abilities. Even now, God, is, uh, we pray that you'll strengthen her, that her gifts and talents and abilities will continue to be used, yes. Lord, for your people in Jesus' name. Yes. And by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Let your will be done in her life. Continue, yes. Lord, to strengthen her and build her up. Yes. Dedicate, Lord, the soul and her life to your glory and honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Children, Martha and Tommy and um, Robbie, Robert is Robbie representing uh, her other son. Robin. 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 God bless you. Dr. Moore, would you like to say something? Thank you, Dr. Moore. Greetings. I wanted to come up here so I could look at you. This is so wonderful. First of all, I want to acknowledge our President Sister Christ, Dr. Geisley, and her staff. I want to acknowledge Dr. Harrison. I want to acknowledge and my family extended, <laughs> and all of the members of our church. But I wanted to come up here because I wanted to see who was here. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason I wanted to see who was here, because when this organization started, the 
it was just a very few people. And they started out as the pastor's wife. Off your. I have this newly married, just a little, a little <laughs> minister's wife. And I thought to tell them, I said, no, let's not make it exclusively pastor's wife. Because I have so many friends like I am who are ministers wives, and they were serving in the young people's auxiliary. Yeah. But I said, we would benefit by meeting with you older women that were seasoned, and some of those ministers' wives will, will be pastors' wives. That's right, right. right. But I wanted to come up front because I am wearing on my clothing this, this afternoon. I thank God for one of our founders, Mother Hattie Saunders. Oh, from Muncie. Because the Lord gave her the revelation. She said, one day, great folks from little acorns go. Mm -hmm. And I don't know whether you still adhere to that. Yes, you do. But that's why I want to see this great oak. <laughs> <laughs> and I am wearing a little gold acorn. It's somewhere. <laughs> Probably the size of your thumbnail. And it says on that, I don't know how they got it engraved on such a little piece of, of jewelry, but it says founder, I-M-W-A, 1952. Wow. Now at that time, we were just the International Ministry Club. So subsequently, we have now become the International Minister's Wives and Minister's Widows of Zillow. And I think that is so beautiful. I'm so delighted to be here. It's been a number of years since I was permitted to meet with you. <coughs> when I saw the word legend, I said, let me see what the meaning of this word is. It's <laughs> <laughs> <Tim> at home. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm a legend. <laughs> but I wanted to share a little anecdote with you. I, I was at dinner several Sundays ago with a friend. <coughs> And we were sitting there talking, laughing, animatedly, and I suddenly saw someone at my elbow, I was a young girl, and she leaned over and whispered to me, she said, may I ask you a question? So I looked at her, I said, yes. She said, how old are you? <laughs> so I looked at her, I said, what do you think? <laughs> And she thought for a moment, she said, oh gosh, I don't know. She said, probably 70. I said, what about 92? And she staggered and backed away from it. So I said, do you want to see my driver's license? <laughs> I said, just if you don't believe me. You're driving? I said, yes. My car is parked out there. <laughs> and she looked at me again. And she said, 92? She says, you're so vibrant. And you're not even eating baby food. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the plus. <laughs> so I have so many things to be grateful for. Yes, yes. They celebrated 12 years ago, my 80th birthday. And I said to them that they really sort of messed me up. Because I, nobody told me that I was 80 years old. <laughs> and nobody told me that I was old. <laughs> but I, I do give credit to God yeah. for my longevity. L listen, age is just a number. That's, That's right. right. right, right. Just yeah. a and I feel like that as long as God provides me That's strength, right. Right. I aim to keep working for him. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I say, maybe I don't have enough sense to stop. <laughs> But as long as you're moving, as long as you're working, that gives you more. I like all that stuff that you mentioned nutritionally. You have to break it down for us. Yes. <laughs> but I have so many things I would love to share with you this afternoon, but I know time will not permit me. But when I look out at this group, I'm sure that there are, there are as many ministers' wives probably as there are pastors' wives. Right. And if I would say one thing to you ladies, this is a different age. I think someone mentioned in the beginning there was just pastor's wives. Yeah. There were no minister's wives. This is pastor's wives. But this is a new age. 
a, a new uh, mentality. We have women in our group now that are not only serving as pastor's wives, as minister's wives, but in that same position, they're serving as doctors yes. and lawyers yes. and educators. And that is so tremendous. Mm -hmm. And I just want to, there is, seems to be at this time in our lives an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because women can't quite figure out who they are. <laughs> And I wanted to encourage you, when you go home today, at the end of this week, many of you are going back home to your assemblies. They're not all going to be mega churches. They're not all going to be churches with 500 members. There will be some small starting churches. That's right. There will be just a few, maybe, well, we, I guess they don't have storefronts anymore. But very small works, but yet you as a wife are called on to fill so many roles. I want to say to you, I'm reminded of the little nursery rhyme. I'm a little teapot, <laughs> short and squat. Here's my handle, here's my spot. <coughs> when I get all steamed up, just, I may not have it right, just shine. I'm a little teapot, short and squat. When I get all steamed up, then I shout. Just tip me over and pour me out. And what I want to say to you ladies is so important, whatever position you're in, whatever your responsibility that you're having, remember when you empty out that teapot, and if you put it back on the stove All right. without replenishing, what's going to happen? You're going to burn out. <coughs> You're going to burn out. <laughs> so you all, all you little teapot, big teapot, as you give out, as you serve, and <coughs> you know women are all things to all men. But let me encourage you. Think about replenishing right. that yeah. which you have poured out. All right. <coughs> because if you don't, after a while, there'll be nothing else. Right. Take care of yourself. Very good. Pour back, as you pour out, pour back in. That mm -hmm. is so important. I'm not going to take any more time. Yes, I'm, right. I'm loaded. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the woman that said I would never marry a preacher. Well, <laughs> but when God has a design for you, yeah. Yeah. So each of you that are sitting here this afternoon is an indication that God had a purpose for you. And I want to encourage you, be strong, be steadfast, yes. be unmovable. <coughs> Let the Lord use you how and where he wants to use you. You cannot be all things to all men. Right. That's right. Well, I better stop. <laughs> <laughs> Say on, Auntie. But I challenge Say you to submit your life unto God. Let God use you. And remember to keep that teapot still. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. All right. All right.